Welcome to my review of the KitchenAid 2.1 litre food processor in contour silver. Model number is a bit long, but I'll just tell you it's a 5K FP 0925BCU. Right, now uh, looking at the uh, package there, that's the, um, the processor in black colour. You can also get it in red and the grey that we've got it in. Now um, you can have a look at some of the uh, features it's got. Uh, you can manually adjust the slices from thick to thin. Um, you got speed one for soft delicate foods, two for hard and dense foods and pulse for process intervals. Um, you got a three in one feed tube that accommodates various sizes of foods. Um, you've also got two different sizes of bowl, uh, which is there. So uh, you don't have to use the uh, the big one all the time. You can use the smaller one, so it's less washing up. Um, and it's the 2.1 liter is the big one, and the little one is the 710. Um, and there you got your three buttons. And underneath um, all that, you've got the pictures of all the attachments and things that you can use. Um, but we'll go through that in a minute. There you go. Right, let's open it up and have a little look and see what's inside. Probably best to put it on its side and uh, slide it out so you don't get things dropping and breaking. You don't want to break your precious processor. And it's brand new. Right, so you uh, have a look. You've got a um, fairly extensive manual there. And it's, it looks like it's going to be in numerous... Um, languages uh, very thick one if you see that um, of course you've got your guarantee now um, on the packet I noticed it says three years guarantee so um, that's that's very good and uh, as you can see it's well packaged in the uh, polystyrene there keep everything protected and safe So there you go, uh, some of your blades, that's a large and small one, uh, things that I pulled off before, there you go, that's fits there, so you can push your, your fruit and veg down, need to be cut. And there you go, another one, that's like a, that's like a plastic blade. Um, take the top off and there's one more piece in there that's the slicer And then we get to the main body. So uh, there you go, that's the big jug and the small jug in one. So it all nicely fits together. And finally, that's the main part. And uh, I can feel with, with that on the work surface, it's got a nice rubber bottom on it. Uh, it's got the grips there, so it won't be going sliding off or anything. It's, uh, it definitely 
keeps it stable. It's not going to be flying off anytime soon. Put it that way. Right, I've got everything unpacked, ready to go. Um, now I've not actually read the instructions yet. I'm going to just give it a quick test and see how easy it is to figure it out. Right, but well, when I've pulled the work bowl out from the packaging, um, it said there was two different sizes. Now I'll take the top off here. Now you can see it fits in there. And there's little divots in there as well, so you can uh, put them in like that. And they fit like that. Very easy, just line the divots up. And that's it. So then you've got your small work area or your big work area. So today I'm just going to use it on the big work area to show you what goes on. Now if you look at the top, you can see that area there. So you line your handle up there and then you push it forward to lock. So you line the handle up with that area and then you twist the lock. There you go and that's that in place. Now The next part is, I'm assuming you're going to have to put on the blades. Um, so we've got blades there, that, that's sort of all the round ones. Um, and it looks like you just plonk it straight on top. There you go. So that's, um, that's that one there. So it looks like it's very simple. Chuck them on like that. And that's those blades. And we also have that piece there, which that looks like it's going to go on there. And then you, that's your grating attachment. So your grating attachment goes on top of that. also have the slicing attachment which is there and that straight on like that and then you've got your lids There you go, that's, that's quite easy to uh, figure out. Um, so you just line it up, push it down and twist, and the black bit then goes in line with the handle. And when we first uh, took the bits and bobs out of the packet, out of the box, there's that one there which goes in there. And that also, will help you to push large vegetables down um, there you go there's that one there or you've got like uh, looks like that must be for carrots then um, so you stick your carrot in there and then push it down with that one and pull them out as you need to uh, get bigger that one there's a little bit of a tight fit the last one because you've got that section there which slides into there, into the black handle piece, like that. So just give it a bit of firm pressure and it goes down. And that's that. So as I said in my um, unboxing section, um, we're going to actually give it some real world um, demos. Uh, so I'm going to find some vegetables to mutilate and I'll be back when we uh, start the process. See you in a bit. Right, after looking around the, uh, the fridge, I realized that all I've got is carrots to play with. So um, this demonstration, I'll be showing you what we can do with a carrot. Now, what we're gonna do first, we're gonna slice this one, we've got some uh, thick slices uh, well we've got the, the adjustable blade set to thick so we're going to give this one a crack uh, we're going to put it on speed one 
and uh, see how that goes and then up it to speed 2. Okay, so it's quite a soft touch there on the button. Just hold it there and it starts and you get a blue LED saying uh, what level it's on. So I've only just touched it in there and it's taken a load of slices off already. So now I'm going to up it to two and then I'm going to drop it in and see how it does that. Right, it's done that by itself. Now it needs a little help. So we use our little plunger there. There you go, and that's gone through. Let's turn it off and have a look. Now it's quite quiet. I did notice that, that's, that's for certain. Now, there we go. It looked like you've done a really, really good job. How's that? Now, I've not really done much reading up on it. I'm just trying to uh, see how easy it is to uh, operate without reading. Um, and that's gone through nicely. Now I have got them uh, mixed up with the uh, the fast speed and slow speed slices, but you can see how uh, how thin you can get them if you really want to. I mean that's paper thin there. So it depends how hard you're pushing it through as well. But um, left it to gravity. It did most of the carrot itself, and it's come out with uh, nice chunks like that. So you can imagine how much time you're going to save by using this when you're doing your Sunday roast your, your carrots I mean your carrots alone is going to save you a load of time so uh, you just chuck them straight in and that's it right I'm going to get rid of these and give them to the uh, parrots that you might be able to hear in the background um, and then we're going to stick the shredder on and we're going to try shredding some carrot as well so that would be ideal for things like coleslaw and salads things like that um, so I'll be back in a bit and we'll give that that attachment to go. Right, cheers. Right, now I've cleaned up after the slicing. Um, now we're going to put the uh, shredder on. So we need that that bit there. So uh, you wiggle it around till you get it lined up. And then this is the uh, shredder. Now if you look carefully you'll see that this one is medium and this one says fine so whichever one you want I'm going to just go for medium now so medium on top line it up with the uh, attachment there there's the, uh, the top so make sure it's all flat slide it don't force it very easy. Um, now, sometimes you do have some majorly big carrots. That hole ain't going to do. Or they've got bends and things like that. But not to worry. If that's the case, you just pull that out, and you've got a much bigger area to put it in. Um, or failing that, take that that section out there. But I wouldn't have thought you'd need much more than that for your carrots. If you use another veg, you can chop it down and use it, but you just you can take that that out um, to put the larger veg in. Okay, right. I'm going to start it up, and this is our uh, sacrificial carrot for uh, shredding, and we're going to give it a go. So we've got it on medium shred. We're going to try it on number one first, and then we'll put it up to number two. See how we go. So hold your finger on there, and let's go. I think I'm going to stick the a little bit in there so it goes through nice and straight. Here we go. Right. I've done half the carrot there. I'm going to turn it off just so you can have a look at it. Now this looks really, really good for your coleslaw. There we go. Take that attachment out there. There you go. Look. How's that? How long 
have I sat there with a with a grater doing it myself and cheese and things like that you know, how easy is that going to be now with this machine in the kitchen oh, it's going to be so easy and that was effort, effortless nothing to do that so now we're going to put it on to uh, power level 2 and we're going to see how that goes there we go right so you stick the attachment on there so it all lines up and that one on there and we're going to keep it on um, on medium shred might as well no no let, let's do fine shred actually let's, let's do let's test all the functions so stick the lid on it make sure it's square slide it into place it all lines up and we're ready to go right so now I'm going to put it on level 2 there we go, you've got the blue LED. It's spun up, so let's try this one. Oh, that's brilliant. So easy. I don't think I've heard the motor struggle down at all, it just went straight through. Um, let's have a look at this. Now, it has left me with the head. But I don't think I'm going to hold that against it, to be honest. So uh, let's have a look and see what it's done. So this is the fine shred on level two. Yeah, how about that? That's brilliant, that is. Look at that. Ideal. I can imagine that on a slow setting on the medium slice doing all your all your grated cheese for your sandwiches or for dishes and things like that it's just all that time you spent grating it's all over now you know it's a kitchen aid you know it's going to be it's a it's a premium brand you know it's going to last you a long time and you know if it can make cooking that easy then i think everyone should have one in their house in the kitchen all right so I'm sorry we only had a carrot to demonstrate that, um, but I think it's uh, it's shown you what it can do. Uh, of course, you've got all the other blades there, uh, but I'm not going to go through everything. Um, so you've seen the uh, that's what I was most interested in was the shredding and the slicing capability, and it's so easy. You don't really have to read up on it. The, the only thing I read up on really was how to uh, adjust the uh, the slices. So if I can make it up as I go along on the film and not embarrass myself too much, I'm sure uh, if you take it home and you have a look at the uh, the manual, you should be able to figure it out for yourself quite easily. It's not not hard, and uh, coming out with sort of decent quality shred like that, shredded carrot, that's brilliant, and that took me seconds. So there you go, and that's the. Uh, the KitchenAid mixer and it's a 2.1 litre uh, container and the code, the model code is 5KFP0925BCU and that I believe is the code for the uh, contour grey they call it and that's this grey colour. Um, what can I say about it? I'm extremely happy um, we, in seconds we've got nice sliced carrots there like that or in the other one nice grated carrots for coleslaw salads recipes yeah, if you want to get some uh, some carrots or some more veg into your uh, spag bowl for the kids you know they, they don't like big chunky carrots you could probably even get it so thin that they wouldn't even notice it's there you know and you can sneak the veg in for them um, so they're loving their bolognese and they've got the hidden carrots so um, yeah good for all that sort of stuff um, like I said there's you can put cheese in it and chocolate and all sorts so uh, I suppose it's up to your imagination really whatever you want to cook um, I could see me using this KitchenAid mixer quite a lot in our household um, with free little kids so um, yeah I, I can't wait to have a, a nice long future with it um, and happy in the knowledge that we've got a three year guarantee to go along with it so um, yeah well happy with it and uh, it's a massive charity thumbs up from me